Some leftists in Finland here. So, there is a citizens initiative circulating around Finland right now that has 53,000, well, let's call it 54,000 signatures from citizens. I can't personally sign this or cast my vote because I'm not a citizen, but 54,000 people have signed an initiative um, that aims to decriminalize and tax and regulate cannabis. And I think that that is fucking awesome. I think that the fact that you've got 54,000 citizens, this, is, this isn't just some petition that gets passed around that anybody from anywhere can sign. These are people within Finland, native um, Finns, I almost said Finlanders, Jesus Christ, I've been living here for five years and okay, whatever, um, who are saying, why not? Tax it like you tax alcohol, tax it like you tax cigarettes, these other things that destroy millions of lives. And, you know, you've got this thing out there that hasn't killed a single person the whole world over that you've been putting on the same level as heroin and amphetamines and other hard drugs that you've got people 25 and under dying Finland leads the EU in 25 and under people dying from drug overdoses. And can we even calculate how many lives alcohol has ruined? Can we calculate how many lives tobacco has ruined? I, I'm sure we can. I don't have the numbers here. Um, but I do know this. I do know this frightened Finn who may be on the fence about legalizing cannabis. Not only has marijuana not killed one single person the world over not only is it not physically addictive not only is it not a gateway drug the way that the fucking police and the government may want you to believe but marijuana has not started a single street fight a single bus brawl a single train platform fight marijuana has not led anyone to beat their wives not at all at all the the boogeyman that the police and, and, and you know police are by default ignorant they're, they're police okay the, marijuana is not the boogeyman that you may think that it is and you have no good reason no good reason whatsoever to keep putting people in jail for it finland you have no good reason to keep deporting people for it finland you have no good reason to keep fining people for it, Finland. You should not be going after people who are smoking marijuana at all. These are not the people causing trouble in your society. It's the drunks. Or it's the people who are casually binge drinking on vacation or whatever. All of those drownings that happened over the summer, do you know how many of them are drunk? Most of them. Okay? And tobacco, you know, I hear some people say, I don't want to walk around in a country where I smell pasta, but you're, you're perfectly okay walking around in a country where you're getting blasted in the face with cigarette smoke. I can't take two fucking steps in Helsinki without getting blasted with, I can't take two steps out here in the woods without getting blasted with someone's cigarette smoke in the face. But you're afraid of a little bit of pot smoke. Well, what could be done about that is if they do legalize and regulate and tax this, that's one way this, this stupid conservative government can get their 6 billion euros, by the way. Um, you can make it to where people can only have their cannabis products, which I, I don't know if, you know, there's a lot of ignorance here when it comes to cannabis. So I don't know if you know this, but you don't only have to smoke cannabis. You can ingest cannabis in food. You can put cannabis in little capsules. You could put uh, CBD, THC products in just about fucking, you can shove it up your ass if you want to, all right? You don't always have to smoke it. And I know when you smoke something and you combust that smoke, it is bad for your lungs. I get it. I don't want a bunch of anti-cannabis people going, oh, you think it's 100% it's, it's, it's healthy. Nothing in this world is 100% healthy that you put inside of your body, especially the pharmaceuticals that you reach for, for your insomnia, for your nausea, for your muscle spasms, for your twitches, and for your glaucoma, and, and for, for all these other things that, you know, marijuana could be a, a very, very nice substitute for. Um, but you have a society that's got a lot of ills being caused by hard drugs and alcohol, and and tobacco and you keep putting people in jail 
for marijuana. Uh, it's just, you have no good reason. You have no good reason. It is long past time for the Finnish government and, and all governments, all the world over, to stop looking at pot as this shit that's just going to turn people into degenerate junkies who two weeks later are going to be on the street shooting up heroin. At least that's the way that I hear some people talk about marijuana. There's just too much ignorance. Too much ignorance. And even though I don't think that these 54, this, this 54,000 signature strong initiative is really actually going to change anything because we are underneath a conservative government right now and conservative governments are stupid about just about everything ranging from foreign policy to domestic policy to the economy to drugs. They're just stupid, especially the Finns party. They're not going to fucking have anything to do with this. Um, it, at the very least, we'll start a more robust conversation, discussion, to try to educate people. Because, again, if you live in a society where alcohol is perfectly legal and you know the ills that it has on, on your society and your healthcare system and the burdens it creates, and you have tobacco products and you know the ills and the burdens that it creates on your society and your healthcare and all that stuff, why not marijuana? You know, let's just take the whole, you know, marijuana could help people in, in, in a good salubrious way out of the equation. Let's just throw that out. You've got alcohol and tobacco, things that are killing people in droves, slowly killing them. It's, it's not an instantaneous death. It's not an instantaneous death, but slowly killing people over a period of time. If they're regulated, they're taxed, um, and you don't go to jail for them, although... Alcohol leads to a lot of people going to jail because it makes them fucking violent and it makes them do things that they would not otherwise do. Some guy out there smoking a joint, he's not going to cause trouble. He's not going to cause any trouble. In fact, if you make marijuana as something that you can only enjoy in the comfort of your own home, okay, fine, whatever. You know, not everyone is a social smoker anyway. I sure as fuck wasn't. I didn't want to leave the house most of the time if, if I wanted to relax. Of course, in the U.S., because they make weed very hard to find here, um, even if you want to take that risk. Um, perfectly okay with just sitting on my ass, playing some video games, and letting my nausea just kind of disappear naturally. Naturally, of course. Um... So, this is really cool. I think that it's a good start. Other petitions have circulated and failed because, you know, the government thinks, oh, our, our criminalization policy is already good. If, you're, if you are jailing even one person, if you are punishing even one person for possessing some marijuana, your criminalization system is not good. It is not good. It is fucking stupid. And I think a lot of lawmakers in this country, and especially the police and other drug enforcement agencies, are fucking stupid when it comes to marijuana. You're just doing your job. I know that's the you're you know you're out there and you're boot licking and you're doing your bidding. You know, okay, whatever. But um, it's time to get a little bit more educated about cannabis, Finland, and the whole world could use a lot more education about cannabis. It hasn't killed a single fucking person. It's not just all the talking points about how it's a safe alternative to pharmaceuticals and how it hasn't killed anybody and how it doesn't lead to, 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 to like one one millionth of the socioeconomic problems that alcohol and tobacco, which are perfectly legal, create. But it's also about the money. You got a government that wants to raise six billion euros. This ain't gonna raise six billion euros, but you know something? It could make a dent. You've got 54,000 people who are ready and willing to pay those taxes for legal cannabis. And all the things you're afraid of that are going to happen are not going to fucking happen. Weed is not a boogeyman. You've been told it's a boogeyman by a teacher or by some fucking idiot cop or by, you know, some lawmaker who, oh, I read a study and, and some guy had two marijuanas and the next day he was dead. Oh my God. Even though that, that same lawmaker's probably got seven or eight people in their lineage that died of liver cirrhosis or organ failure because they just couldn't stop fucking drinking, you know? 
There's too much ignorance. Too much ignorance. And this at least creates some sort of dialogue. Or maybe not. Maybe the, the coalition party and the Finns assholes will just look at this and go, <laughs> Oh, yeah, just a bunch of stoners who want to get high. And... Here's one big reason I think that this probably will fail. Um, there's a lot of rhetoric happening right now about people not wanting to work. People just staying home, not wanting to work. They're just lazy because they're not being paid enough. You know, the real reasons are out there. But my fear is that the ruling government is going to see marijuana as just one more thing that keeps people lazy. Never mind the fact that every single fucking stoner I've known in my life has had a full or part-time job and it did not affect their performance one iota. Maybe it actually improved their performance. They're going to use this as another boogeyman to say it's just going to make more unemployment. And, you know, that's kind of the fear that I have um, in that respect. And this is why I think that it's still going to be like 20, 30 years before cannabis is even considered for decriminalization because you've got to get a generation of morons and boomers completely the fuck out. They got to die off or they've got to become too decrepit to participate in society and government before we can get people of some higher intelligence to Okay, now I just sound arrogant, whatever. I'm just it's it's really it's very stunning to me how we live in a world where something like this it is demonized the way that it's demonized um i think that in most cases things like weed things like mushrooms acid um they're demonized because they change the way that people think or at least organize their thoughts better and in some way i think and this is you know th th this might be uh, you know trumped up a little bit but i think that governments are afraid and employers are afraid that if people start thinking on a, on a bit differently, maybe on a higher level, they'll start to wonder why they're basically being used as indentured servants and, you know, why government is the way that it is and why capitalism is the way that it is. Basically, people will start thinking more like individuals and less like robots in a factory. But <clears throat> my voice is going away, so I'll just end the video here. Have a good day, folks.